Hello and welcome to this video. I am Swarnendu. In this video, I will explain you how to create Azure SQL Server using Azure Portal, how to create Azure SQL Database in that SQL Server, and how to connect Azure SQL Server from SQL Server Management Studio. Before creating Azure SQL Server and Azure SQL Database, let us know what are the deployment models available for the Azure SQL Database. See, these are the Azure Database deployment options. Azure Database offers two types of deployment options. First three under the Platform as a Service, last one under the Infrastructure as a Service. Under the Platform as a Service, we have Single Database, Elastic Pool and the Managed Service. Under Infrastructure as a Service, we have SQL Server on Azure Virtual Machine. Under the Platform as a Service, first one is the Single Database. Single database means if we create single database, then the resources allocated for that database will be used by that database only. That means the guaranteed resource available for that single database. Next one is the elastic pool. As the name suggests, pool. Elastic pool is the collection of databases. So the resources are allocated for the pool. And within the pool, all databases can use that resources. For each database, there is a range of resources available, minimum resource and the maximum resource. Minimum resource means there is minimum guaranteed resource available for each database inside the elastic pool and there is a maximum also. Last one is the manage instance. Manage instance is useful when we migrate the on-premise SQL server to the Azure database server. And the last one is the SQL server on virtual machine. First, we need to purchase the Azure virtual machine. Then we have to install the SQL server in that virtual machine. So now let us go to the Azure portal to create the Azure SQL server. Now I am inside the Azure portal. Let us first create the SQL server. Then we will create the Azure SQL database. Here we can find the resource in two ways. We can search the resources here. See, search resources, service and documents. So let us search the SQL server in the search box. SQL servers so this is sql server here we can create by clicking on the add button this is the sql database server creation window this is one of the way to search that window now let us come here in the different way let us close this here we can click on the all services under the all services we have databases under the database we have sql server so now let us click add button to create the sql server first we have to Select the subscription as I have the pay as you go. So I click that. Now let me click on the resource group Azure data resource group. Now let us give the SQL server name. Azure SQL server server name is already in use. Have some prefix to make it unique. Yeah, this is available. Now we have to select the location. Location should be closest to the user of the application. Just let us click the OS US to now we have to give the administrative login. I give it db admin. Let us type the password. Okay, now let us go to the next step networking. This is for the networking security. Firewall rules allow Azure services and the resources to access this service. By default, Azure block all the access by the Azure resource as well as by the outside Azure resource. We need to make it yes because we will be connecting this SQL Server from SQL Server Management Studio as well as we will be querying the data from the Azure Portal Query Editor. Next come to the additional setting. Let us keep it as default. We will not be adding any tags. Now review and create. Now let us create. Now the deployment is going on. Deployment to the resource group is in progress. We can see the deployment details. So Microsoft SQL Server is being provisioned. Now the deployment is completed and that means Azure SQL Server is created. Now let us go to the SQL Server. Just click here go to resource. See this is our Azure SQL Server that we have just created. This is our resource group. This is the location. This is admin name. This is SQL Server name. SQL Server name dot database dot windows dot name. Here we have some option to create the database. First option is the create database. Create database option is to create the single database. Next one is the new elastic pool. This option is used to create the elastic pool. Now let us create the single database by clicking the create database button. Yeah, this is create database window. Here subscription and the resource group is disabled. 
that means we will be creating our SQL database under these options, under this subscription and the resource description that we cannot change. Here we have to give the database name. Let me give the database name as prod db234. See the server is grey out, disabled, SQL server 234 under OSTS location. So you are creating database prod db234 under pay as you go subscription in resource group this one and under this SQL server. This is asking want to use SQL Elastic Pool? No, this is by default no. Now the important portion came, Compute plus Storage. By default, this is selected as general purpose. Now let us go to the Configure Database. This option basically responsible for the pricing. How much will be billed? Before applying these resources, let us understand the purchase model of Azure SQL Database. These are the SQL Database service tiers. We have two purchase models. One is DTU, another is the V core. Under the DTU, we have three service tier: basic, standard, and premium. Under V core, we have three different service tier: general purpose, business critical, and hyperscale. Okay. Now let us go to the Azure portal. Here you see general purpose, hyperscale, and the business critical are under the V core. Here you see looking for basic, standard, premium. This come under the DTU. You see, this is given DTU. So, this is this comes under the DTU based model. Microsoft recommends to use the vCore based. So, in this video, we will be creating, we will be provisioning the resource using vCore based. Here, DTU basically uh, the blended of compute and the storage. You see, there is no option to allocate storage and the compute. I mean, IO, CPU, and memory. This is just pricing is based on the directly based on the number of DTU. This DTU is consist of compute memory and the IO CPU. Now let us go to the vCore. Under the vCore let us create the database using the general purpose service tier. Here there are two options. One is provision another is the serverless. Under the provision option compute resources are pre-allocated. So storage, CPU, IO everything is allocated upfront. So that will be built irrespective of use or not. This is the provision is selected. Here the pricing thing. Cost summary. Cost summary is what is? Cost per V core. V core means for the compute. See, there is 2 is selected here. See, 2 is selected here. So that's why V core selected is multiple of 2. And the pricing is this one. And the cost per GB. I mean the storage. And here I have selected storage as 1 GB. So that's why it is multiple of 1.3. Now let us make it 4 GB. You see, that's why this is multiple of 1.3, 5.2. So now let us check the serverless. You see, in case of serverless, there is maximum core and the minimum core. That means there is a range. Here they have written it. Compute resources are auto scaled. As you use the database, the resources will be used or allocated automatically. And for the provision, the billing is per hour. And for the serverless, the billing is per second. Bill per second. You see. Here the cost summary is cost per GB 7.6 and the maximum storage is 5.2. This billing per month is fixed. Cost per GB 7.6 and the max storage that is selected is 5.2. So we have to pay the storage price. But compute cost depends how you use. More you use, more bill will be there. Compute cost depends on the number of cores selected and the number of seconds it has been used. Now let us select the serverless option to create our Test database. I have selected as 1 GB. Create, let me apply this one. Here, see the general purpose serverless Gen 5 1 vCore 1 GB storage. Now, let us go to the networking. The firewall rule is already applied at the server level. Now, let us move to the additional setting. No, we don't need any um, Azure Defender now. Let us go to the tags. Let us review and create. Okay, fine. Now, we are fine to create the SQL database under this SQL server. Now deployment is in progress. Now the Azure SQL database is created. Let us go to the resource. This is our database name. This is our server name. Now let us copy this server name and let us try to connect the SQL server from the SQL server management studio. This is SQL server management studio. Now let us give the server name Azure server. Okay. This is our Azure server. Now let us let us give the credential. Server admin name is dbadmin. 
Now let us try to connect the Azure SQL Server from the management studio. Let us connect. Here there is a message. Your client IP address does not have access to the server. Sign in to an Azure account and create a new fire rule to enable access. So the client IP address. That means my system IP address does not have access to the Azure SQL Server. As I said earlier, by default Azure block all the access by the Azure service as well as by the outside Azure service. As I am trying to access using my local system to the Azure SQL Server, now it is asking me to add the client IP address at the server level. Here we have in server, we can go to the security, firewall and virtual networks. Here we have to add the, see here is the option to add the client IP address. Add client IP. Let us click it. Now the see client IP address is added here. That means now we can access this SQL server from this client IP address. No other client IP address will be able to access this Azure SQL server now. Now let us save it. Updating the SQL server firewall rules. Now it is successfully added. Now let us go to the management studio. Now it should be connected disconnected see there is a list of database we had created one database right see prod db234 we have created this database in the azure portal prod db234 online this is now online if this video helps you please like this video and subscribe this channel to get the upcoming videos thanks for watching